you know that shower. That shower you do when you just need to be a new person, this is that. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today I have a style of video that I've never done before, but I wanted to walk you through my the shower routine. You know that shower of all showers where you just like, you do it all. Whether you just feel like you need to be a new person or you need to get ready for like a spray tan, a special event, whatever it is. This is the shower routine for you guys. I wanna talk you through some of my favorite products, share with you what I use, and kind of my process step-by-step step on how to get the body ready for a spray tan in which I'm going to be doing myself. You guys know I'm kind of the queen of DIY at-home beauty products or routines, procedures, whatever. I've laminated my brows, I've curled my lash, or like given myself a lash lift, a lash tint, I do my own nails. I've previously done my own um, sunless tan with a mitt. I do chemical peels at home. I do it all. I pretty much do it all except for my hair because I can't, but I have dabbled into that route as well and it didn't end well. But if y'all remember when I dyed my hair in college with box dye, brown, not, not a vibe. But Today I wanted to share with you that routine that I do before I am going to do a spray tan. So I have replaced my mitt and mousse with this guy. This is the Yo Air. I think I'm saying it right. I was saying Yo Yo Air for a while, but then I realized it's Yo Air. So they sent this over to me. So big shout out to Yo Air for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I'm going to share with you how easy this is and how like I don't know how I lived for as long as I did with sunless tanning without this thing. It's so easy and if you struggle with like the tanning hands, you know the dreaded tanning hands where it's like oh god girl you need this. I think we all suffer from it whether we've been like advanced sunless tanners or not. You guys know I'm more of a natural sunless tan. I have it on right now. I don't like anything where it looks like, girl, you just spent like 10 weeks in Mexico and never wore sunscreen. I don't really want that vibe anymore. I'm looking for just a natural, glowy, bronzy, even of my skin tone. And this is amazing. It blends so nicely. Basically, it's like spray painting your body with this guy. This is the first cordless spray tan. So you can take this anywhere. I take it into my bathroom, but if you don't want to do it in your shower, they have pop-up tents that you can get on Amazon. I'll put a picture of what I mean right here. But in your garage, you can do it outside. You can do this anywhere your little heart desires. It lasts about 55 minutes with one charge, and then it just comes with a portable USB and you plug it in. The tan that I use to put in this machine, you can use whatever one you like. I love this one. This is the Norvell. Venetian handheld spray tan solution. I will link all the details in the description box down below and how you can get your own. They sell this guy on Amazon as well and I absolutely love it. Let's go ahead and finally get into my the everything, the shower routine and my little sunless tanning DIY spray tan at home. All right, so before I get in there and Get me a good scrub. It's been a while since I've washed my hair. I tend to do this. I try to like to wash my hair two to three times a week at least because when I don't, my scalp care really suffers. So, or scalp health. So I just take a little massager. You can get these anywhere. This one specifically is from Grande Hair, whatever, Grande Lash. But for hair, I like to just do this. It stimulates the scalp. Gets all that dried skin off. This is like the ultimate, <laughs> I look insane. This is the ultimate that, you know that shower. That shower you do, when you just need to be a new person, this is that. Let's become a new person together. <sighs> that feels so good. All right, it's time for shampoo. I use this Dove Scalp Care. This is my first wash. Yes, I double cleanse. This helps really just keep my scalp health really well and no dandruff. I use a little scrubber again to rub that all in. While that sits on my hair because I let it sit 
I go in with this sugar scrub from Tree Hut. I love this stuff. It just helps exfoliate all the dead skin cells off and really help me get the best shave. Then I go in with my second shampoo after I rinse out the first one. This is the Hydrate by Pureology. I love this stuff. Then I go ahead and follow that with my conditioner. I put that just towards my ends. While that sits on my hair, I go ahead and shave. I use this EOS Shave cream with the Harry's razor. You don't want any hair on your body before you sunless tan and we just want to be hair free. I do anyway. After that, I go ahead and just apply the purple mask. You only do this on for like three minutes. Um, so I apply that mostly to where I'm brassy and then work it down to my ends and then rinse out. And Okay, my robe is like five minutes from being dry, but let's wrap our hair in a little microfiber towel. This thing is the best. Um, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. I don't even use like leave-in conditioner on my hair anymore. It's kind of nuts, but let's wrap this up. I really need that robe to be done. I'm not good at this. Um, anyway, um, I'm a lotion connoisseur and I love the Naturium body lotion when I'm doing like a daytime. But when I just did the shower of all showers, like I just exfoliated every ounce of skin off my body, every hair on my legs, my lower region, my pits, the toes, all of it. Some good cocoa butter. I use the Vaseline Intense Care Cocoa Radiant. This is the second or third bottle I've purchased. When I was purchasing this, because it was a repurchase, I decided to scrap this and I was like, this is, this is giving. Okay, so I go in with the lotion, then I seal it in with the Cocoa Radiant Body Oil. I go in with the oil afterwards, same thought for me was like skincare, like I was like, do I go in with the oil first and then go with the lotion? But then I was like, the lotion can't soak in if there's oil on the skin, right? Thoughts? I don't know. So, lotion, oil, smells good, it smells like cocoa butter, it smells like a hug. Let's do it. Let's even the skin tone and let's get it prepped for a sunless tan. Don't you neglect those feet. Ooh, my legs feel so soft. Now, go in with the oil. You do not need a ton of this. It's very thick and like really sits on the skin, but in the best way possible. Oh, God. Bring my hydration to life. Yes. My little piece of heaven. I always put my robe in the dryer when I'm gonna do this like insane routine, <laughs> so it just feels nice and warm. So do not do the whole oil lotion thing if you need to do something for the rest of the day. Do this at nighttime, rinse off um, in the morning before you're gonna do any sort of like, um, what do I wanna say, like workout class. Girl, I learned that the hard way. You wanna let it soak in for a couple of hours. I like to soak in anywhere from like 12, or so hours to just let it really marinate on the body and then I rinse it off. Um, I don't use soap afterwards, I just rinse. Um, so yeah, and you wanna do this so that you make sure your body is so smooth and hydrated before you do a sunless tan. So I'm gonna do a face mask now because my face is feeling a little dry. So I'm gonna go in with a little toner action to put some hydration back in my life. It's like a toner essence, it's so good. This is just gonna help with hydration. And then I'll either do a sheet mask or I'll just do a regular mask. So today I'm just gonna do a regular mask. I'm gonna do the Origins Drink Up Thirsty Intense Hydrating Mask. Put this on and let it sit. And then I also, once I feel like my lotions kind of soak in, sunk in, sunk. Once I feel like my lotions absorbed into my body, then I'll go ahead and put on my sweat set, which I already also put in to the dryer. And I let my hair air dry, and then I'll blow dry it towards the end. I literally feel like a new human being. I know y'all can relate. All right, now it's time to fill up our machine and I always put a towel down because I always spill it clearly as me showing you. Only need about two ounces here. 
Um, and then I go ahead and apply my Vaseline lotion to my wrists, my ankles, my knees, my elbows, and then it's time to spray. You're not going to see everything because, girl, I'm not doing this in a bathing suit. So you just want to start about a foot away from your body to spray your feet and work yourself up. You want to do kind of a spreading motion. You can adjust the nozzle on the head depending on which way you are um, spraying, but you want to just go ahead and evenly coat the um, body. You don't want to spend too long in one spot to oversaturate, but it's super easy and the mist is adjustable as well, depending on how saturated you want the color. And the air is always blowing, so it kind of helps dry the tan in between uses or running over your body. I'm showing you how I spray my hands. That's my favorite part. And that's it, you guys. All right, welcome back. It is the next day, <laughs> like thinking through the process. I did rinse off my tan yesterday after two hours and cleaned my shower. So I do want to let you know everything came clean. I highly recommend doing like a patch test or they have pop up tents that you can buy so you're not dealing with it, but everything came clean. It didn't get anywhere besides in the shower. So we're good and everything came clean perfectly well. So I want to show you the tan. I washed it off after two hours because I wanted a super light natural look. I'm at the point in my life where I don't tan necessarily to become like insanely dark where you just look like you don't belong or it doesn't belong on you. I like more of a natural look. I also gently sprayed my face but like very very minimal. Um, tips and tricks for this thing I would say if you can get somebody to spray your back cool if not you can do it and then I just take a mat and like rubbing anything else but my absolute favorite thing about the yo -Yer, yo yer i think that's what it's called yo yer um is first the cleanup's so easy but my hands look flawless my hands and my feet normally no matter how good of a sunless tanner i am like with the mitt i mean it still looks like a little funky and you can i mean you can definitely tell that it's tanned because there's like whiteness a little bit in between my hands, but you can really just nicely mist and spray everything. And even if it looks like it's not 100% even, it is once you rinse it off. The same thing, you know, when you're rubbing in tan, it can look a little streaky, but that eliminates like, it's so foolproof, <laughs> but it just gives you such a natural look in those areas that you might suffer from, like in between here. Um, I mean, my my armpits, <laughs> but um, I need to shave these guys, but you know what I mean? Like you can see, um, it's been two days, <laughs> bear with me. You can see it just looks so much like, like it just looks flawless. I did my back by myself, no streaks. And that's the best thing about this is like simply the application is so much more seamless than rubbing it in with a mitt or spraying it with like a water, like the sprayer on this thing is so freaking fine that I'm obsessed with it. So next time I'm going to have Scott do my back. But besides that, like for the price, it's phenomenal. You have a custom airbrush at all times in your home. You can do it every week if you want. If you're a spray tanner, you can do it every week, every two weeks. Um, or you can just do it for special occasions, which is kind of like what I have in mind. We're going to leave for Florida um, towards the beginning of or middle of April and so I'll probably do one tan before I go because I'm not a lay out in the sun girl anymore as much as I used to be but like I cannot say enough good things of how flawless and smooth this is and the more practice you get the better you'll get but I'm a do it myself kind of girl like I do my own nails I do my if I could do my own hair I would <laughs> I do like my teeth whitening my skincare like I do it all at home so I love that I can do this at home and I just feel like I don't know. I just really get a lot of benefit from doing like self-satisfaction from doing things on my own. So if you are looking for a spray tan, like let's say you're already a spray tan girl or you feel like you're kind of struggling with the self tan with just the mitt or you just kind of like want to try something new, try the yo -Yer. I yo -Yer. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> I sound so weird when I say it, but I love this thing. I'm so obsessed with the fact that it is portable and I don't have a long, long cord. And the mist on this thing is super, super fine. So yeah, that is my little um, tanning routine with that. So you can see I'm streak free. Ooh, ooh. I'll show, I'll put a little clip from the before. It's not super dramatic because I went with more of a natural look, but super easy, 
super quick, I swear. You guys need it if you're a self-tan girl. So now I'm gonna take my full shower where I actually wash my body because before that I just rinsed. So wash my body and then I'm gonna go in with this serum. I recently just got this. Um, this is the Nessus. I can't say the word. Body serum, so I'm gonna go in with that. My favorite daytime lotion, which is the Naturium Biolipid. So I'm gonna apply this to make sure that my tan stays good. Yep, so let's go ahead, let's finish up this. That girl shower routine. <laughs> All right, you guys, so that's it. I walked you through my hair care routine, my body care routine, my sunless tan routine, my aftercare, all of it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you again to Yo Year for sponsoring today's video. I absolutely had no idea how much a sunless tanning, self tanning machine spray mister would be a game changer in my routine. And if you girls are a sunless tanner like I am and we're headed into those summer months, and you maybe want it for a special event or you just want like a natural glow, this is such a seamless, easy way to do it. And it dries so much faster than applying like a mousse all over your body because of the way that the air evenly distributes it on your body. It's foolproof. So I highly recommend checking it out. I will link all the details in the description box down below. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.